Hey everyone, and welcome to Storytime. I'm Pear. And I'm not! <laughs> Today's story comes from ancient Greece, King Midas and the Golden Touch. You excited, Orange? Oh, heck yeah! As far as I'm concerned, Greece is the word! <laughs> uh, well, if Orange doesn't have any more awful Greek puns, we can go ahead and get started. Thanks for the opportunity, Pear. I actually have several. What Athens in Greece stays in Greece. <laughs> Even my puns can't ruin this story time. <laughs> get it? Ruins? Like the old buildings that are halfway toppled? Yes, I get it. Are you done already? Not yet. Go big or go homer. That's what I always say. <laughs> ah. Okay, okay. My Apollo G's for the cheesy puns. <laughs> That's it. We're starting. Once upon a time in ancient Greece, King Midas was granted one wish by the god Dionysus. King Midas thought about it and decided that he wanted the ability to turn anything he touched into... Orange! Excuse me? The leaf he touched! It clearly turned orange! No, actually that's gold. See, that's why it's titled the way it is. Everything King Midas touched turned to gold. You sure? Looks pretty orange to me. I assure you, that's gold. Are you sure? Because it really seems like it turned orange. See? What's that? No. No. Dude, this story was written 2,000 years before you were even born. So I promise you, you are not in it. Nah, but putting me in the story would have made it absolute gold. <laughs> Respectfully, I disagree. But back to the story. So King Midas absolutely loved his newfound power. He started touching all sorts of stuff. Flowers, chairs, motorboats. No, no motorboats in ancient Greece, I'm afraid. <laughs> now then, all was fine and dandy until it came time to eat. At dinner, everything King Midas tried to eat turned into gold before he could bite into it. Oh, did he turn his carrot into 24 carrot? <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, he did. Same with his wine, his steak. His orange. La, 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 la. Honestly, that's probably the best story time contribution you've ever made, Orange. Aw, thanks, Pear. Glad to know you like my input. I'll keep doing it. <laughs> uh. After a while, King Midas started to become unhappy with his golden touch. But the final straw was when he hugged his daughter without thinking. Wait, you mean she turned orange? Lucky kid. No, she was not lucky because- Sure she was. If I know orange, and I do, she was instantly the coolest kid at school. I mean, anyone who can touch their tongue to their eyeball is sure to be the most popular pupil. <laughs> ah. Anyway, King Midas regretted his wish and begged and begged Dionysus to take it back. Eventually he did, and King Midas returned to normal. But the things he touched didn't turn back, and they remained awesome! No! Yeah, and King Midas lived the rest of his days surrounded by his new orange friends, motorboating, nyan nyan, and kazooing until the end of time! Yeah, this is terrible! Oh, and don't forget the TNT! <laughs> the end!